Hi, my name is Heather Myers. I'm an ER physician from Denton, Texas. We endured family court corruption when Judge Carmen Rivera Worley broke multiple canons of the Texas Code of Judicial Conduct in my custody case for my daughter, Grace. She refused to or was unable to recognize the insidious parent alienation tactics contributing to the bullying emotional assault. Her corrupt and self-serving actions submitting to my ex's misguided and twisted actions led me to have to make the most difficult decision of my life. My child was suffering in a system with answers that only used her as a pawn in a money game, emotionally torn and constantly questioned. I had to save her. Judge Worley appeared on Oprah after she was in a plane wreck that killed her lover and her daughter. Now she's out, it seems, to make sure no other mother has their child. My ex-husband's harassment, threats, and court intimidation from petty concerns and critical suspicions held our family in constant bondage. The judge did not stop motions filed in bad faith and to harass the other party. We were kept from speaking with Grace during his possession, and it became worse when he gained primary custody. However, I will quickly detail a few of the most poignant injustices. Judge Worley removed my child from my custody without a hearing. After years of delays and postponements, she granted an emergency hearing to justify the removal based from a five-year-old picture which had three small bruises and a report from a therapist unauthorized by us to be seeing our daughter. My ex-husband testified that our daughter marked easily because she was redheaded. As a board-certified emergency physician as well, he also had long exceeded his time frame of duty to report abuse, never taking her to the ER or her pediatrician. During this hearing, Judge Worley allowed testimony and reports from a malicious therapist who had ulterior motives to harm us because of her exposure of her wrongdoings secondary to the medical board finding guilt for her non-disclosure of medical records and seeing our daughter without consent in this case. Judge Worley ordered supervised visitation with the supervisor being the same vengeful therapist which we had filed a state grievance and after hours of testimony exposing that the therapist had made conclusions that aren't possible from tests that she performed incorrectly on my daughter who was too young to participate in these tests in the correct manner. Judge Worley was an investor at the clinic in which this counselor whom we had testified proven adversarial relationship worked. Judge Worley did not allow any testimony from me to evaluate the credibility of my ex-husband's accusations. She stated that all the allotted time was used after my ex-husband presenting his partial truths so I in fact was not really given a trial. Judge Worley's court ordered attendance with a conflict parenting therapist who evaluated the intricacies of our family dynamics for six months, but then did not allow the therapist to testify or even submit a report. The report would have exposed his alienating techniques and motives. Judge Worley emailed her decision out during the school day. My ex-husband picked up my child from school with no explanation or allowing me to say goodbye. My child and I were unable to see each other for over three months, and were, we were ridiculed for sending some of her favorite objects, comfort objects to her, and others she never received from us. Judge Worley openly acknowledged in court with a thank you for the campaign donations made by my ex-husband and his attorney, and her judgments were coerced and obvious monetary gains had influenced her. Judge Worley would not let us have a similar emergency hearing to expose the tape of Grace begging us to sign the papers to be able to see her when there were no such papers um, that existed and we were trying to do everything in our power to be able to see her. The CPS worker who had been called out to investigate by my ex-husband um, and who had not found any abuse mysteriously was gone the day after the judge sent out her decision. Judge Worley did not promote the appearance of impartiality when she closed the case but failed to sign the permanent injunction against my ex-husband to protect my other children, my husband, and my medical license from further harassment, despite her pronouncing at the final hearing she would do so. The injustices of my experience in the family court system could fill volumes. However, I'm asking the U.S. Congress and the state legislator of Texas to specifically add more education on parental alienation, send these cases immediately to mediation or a parental coordinator who makes parents responsible for encouraging a good relationship with the other and parent and discourages remuneration to attorneys for continuing litigious actions and false allegations and general bullying that is encouraged by the current system in order to correct these wrongs done to children and to parents. Thank you very much, Heather Myers.